Fiddle like again folks, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to be chatting about bike security, something you folks have been asking me lots about. In this vid we're going to be chatting about data tag. It's probably something that's been fitted to most of your bikes even without your knowledge, so we're going to cover what it is, how it works and how you can be best protected. Stick around and find out more. Down Yep, this is a sponsored video, so a huge thank you to DataTag for their support here on the channel. I'm going to take this off because I am boiling. Whoo, that's better. So, DataTag, what is it? How is it fitted to your bike? And how can you be best protected? Let's go and find out. Welcome to the Super Sausage Calf. We've got Dave Luscombe here from DataTag. Dave's going to tell us all about DataTag, what it is, why we need it on our bikes, what the whole point of it all is. You'll probably find that most of you out there, especially if you've got the tractors like this, you're going to have data tag already fitted. I didn't realise I did have it, but uh, Dave's going to run into that. So Dave, welcome to the channel. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, Bruce. And you, man. And you. Yeah. So data tag, I I've seen it all around. I even got it mixed up with data tool when we initially spoke, which is quite embarrassing. Um, what is data tag? Data tag is what we like to call permanent passive protection. It fundamentally is a way of giving your bike a unique identity mm -hmm. that is very, very difficult to remove, that makes it stand out from the crowd. It uses forensic technologies, overt technologies like labels and yep. data dots to give almost every part of the bike an identity that means it can be identified. So even if your bike gets stolen and criminals attempt to remove the manufacturer's marks on the bike, mm -hmm. then it can still be identified. Uh, essentially, it's a preventative measure. Ultimately, yeah. Yeah. it's not yeah. a tracker, it's no. a preventative measure. No, so the, the, there, are there are two sides to the whole um, theft angle. There's the, so if you like target hardening, there's making your property less desirable to the thieves in the first place. So that's number one, that stops things getting stolen. And then obviously there is the what happens when it does get stolen, how do we get it back again? And that's where trackers live, they live at the other side of the equation. So from a data tag point of view, we're all about stopping it getting stolen in the first place, it's theft prevention. And, and what physical form does it take, data tag? So the most obvious sign of a data tag is the dome resin label, which will sit typically on the tank. And that's the bit, that's like the alarm box on your house really. It's up there, it tells the thief that there's something on the bike that they need to be cautious of. As part of the industry MCI Secure program, motorcycles that are from manufacturers participating in that scheme, you'll see a long rectangular label on the frame with a QR code on it and a number on it, and that's the number that, again, supports it, and that's the number that the police can check. But then we get into the, we're into the realms of forensic technology with ultraviolet etching technology, so shining an ultraviolet light on the panels of the bike will show a number that's been etched in ultravioletly, and micro dots which will be all over the engine, the suspension, the controls, which again are operate at a forensic level. Okay, so it's a complete package all complete across package. the bike. It's not just like one little central nope. location, nope. everything nope. is covered. Nope. That's it. And the great thing about it is as well, when I said it's permanent and passive, it doesn't actually do anything until the bike gets stolen. Yeah. And then it allows it to be identified and it's permanent. It's on there from the day you fit it. There's no batteries to wear out. It doesn't deteriorate. If you've got a 20 year old bike, as I've got over there, 20, what, 23 year old bike now with an original data tag system fitted, still works now just like it did then and I don't have to pay for it. Once you've got it fitted, that's it. No fees, no subscriptions, it's on, forget it. Awesome. Well, we're, we're gonna have a, a chat with the old Bill in a sec, just to see how data tag is used by them. So we'll cover that shortly. Um, now, a lot of bikes, a lot of manufacturers across the board used to have data tag fitted from the off, but I know that's slightly been cut back of late. Which ones are covered at the moment? Yeah, so the ones that are covered at the moment are, as we've said before, BMW, so your old tractor here and all the BMW range fitted as standard from the dealer. The same with Triumph, Ducati, Harley-Davidson, Indian and Kawasaki. So you buy any of those brands, you get the data tag fitted as standard, so it's secure from the minute you pick it up from your dealer. Nice one. And if, if it's not fitted and you want it fitted, how do people go about getting that done so there's a retail product that's available that people can go onto the data tag web shop and buy fit themselves it's the way it used to be before 2013 when the industry initiative was started so go onto the web shop buy it comes with full instructions register it online it's very very simple to do and you get the same level of protection as this old girl got when she came out of the dealers gotcha sounds awesome right um I think maybe we should have a look at uh, how this works in practice we'll, yeah absolutely we shall chat with the old bill 
Right folks, we've got Hutch here from Northamptonshire Constabulary. Not as good as the Met, but you know, never mind. Hutch. Oh, it's nice to be like that, is the Bruce? <laughs> Straight in with a kidney oh. punch. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, very well, thank you. Awesome. So. Yeah, all good, all good, thank you, all good. Hutch is our vehicle examiner uh, with the stolen vehicle recovery, is that right? Yeah, so my primary role is rural crime within the county of Northamptonshire, and a bolt onto that is um, I'm a vehicle examiner for the force. Gotcha. So Hutch has got real practical experience of working with data tag, so he's going to have a chat with us just about basically how that makes his job easier. So if we just go yeah. straight into that, pal. Um, data tag, what's your experience with it, and how does it affect your day-to-day -day job? My main experience with it is around the plant and agricultural side of things, um, but the data tag product, if you look at it, goes on an array of different items and we're here today to discuss motorcycles so when we start reflecting on my vehicle examination role when we get stolen bikes or what we perceive to be stolen bike recovered by our colleagues it comes in they ask for me to go and examine it and the worst thing we ever do is we turn up and all the um, manufacturers identification has been removed yeah. so chassis numbers are gone and all the other things that they do so it's how can we then identify this motorcycle to come back to you the good, the good public yeah um, so we need to put that extra layer of um, identification there. Data tag offers that. Mm -hmm. There's various other things that people can do out there. Um, but the beauty with it is it's a recognised product yeah. throughout all UK forces. So should a colleague in Northumberland or down in the Met or wherever else get a motorcycle or another uh, item to examine, if it's got that data tag on there, it's something that we recognise. Gotcha. So that effectively, the bike can be totally stripped, chassis numbers uh, filed off. It's, it's basically it's chunks of metal, but yeah, you can definitely. still get in there and identify that that bike belongs to such and such a person if you've got data tag fitted. What sort of success rate do you see with it? Is it something you deal with day to day? It's not day to day for myself uh, or my colleagues. However, I have had occasions where everything's gone there is a data tag system yeah. on there we ring data tag and within a few minutes we've got the registered keepers wow. uh, details for that bike as quick as that it's literally as quick as that Fantastic. the downside though bruce is when people buy a bike Paperwork. no well that's always the <laughs> downside isn't it the downside is people will buy a bike a second hand machine and they'll fail to register it in their name yeah. Yeah. and that is the key thing it's great having this layer of um, technology there but if it's not registered to you, it's still not going to help us. Gotcha. So slow time, we can do those inquiries with who it was registered with, find out who they've potentially sold it onto, as long as there's that paper trail there. But gotcha. yeah, that's that's the key bit really. Put it in place, but you've got to update the details on uh, it. Absolutely. So if, if you're not buying a bike brand new with data tag already fitted, if you buy a bike second hand and it's got data tag fitted already to it, it's really important, like the V5, the logbook that you send off to the DVLA, it's really important that you get on the data tag website and you update your details. Because without that, they're not going to be able to trace the, the bike back to you should anything happen to it. So make sure you do that. Yeah, just, just on that, Bruce, even if you're buying a brand new machine, mm -hmm. after, say, six, eight, Eight weeks it's worth giving data tag a ring just to try and make sure that that machine has been registered to you gotcha sometimes it can slip through the net and we get items that are still recorded to the uh, manufacturer or the dealer who was selling the motorcycle yeah they've perhaps not updated those details for some reason gotcha. so please if you can just do that quick telephone call data tag will only uh, confirm a certain amount with you over the telephone with us um, as police we register with them they'll give us a lot more details um, but for you as the owner, give them a ring. Just ensure that that is registered in your name. Awesome. Hutch, thank you very much for coming along, bud. Really no do appreciate nice it. You. Stay safe out there. Keep paying the pension. Cheers. Right, Dave, data tag. Um, we've heard all about what it is. Yep. How does it apply to the bike? Where does it go? Okay, so the first visible thing you'll see on a bike, as we mentioned earlier, was the visible label. So this is an old one here that's 20 years old. And you can see how it started to delaminate. Yeah and that was one of the weaknesses of the old label. We've replaced these now with the newer um, domed resin labels, which are in silver, so they go with any bike. And that is the visible warning. That says to any potential criminal, don't steal me because I'm fitted with data tag and I can be traced. Gotcha. So that's the primary identifier. But then we've got some more stealthy technology, a bit more sexy. Again, on the side of the bike here, this is a 20 year old um, motorcycle and this was the 20 year old visible ID on the bike gotcha. so that visible etch there is well as it says in the tin it's visible there's another one on the mirror there and whilst they're a very powerful um, signal to say it's protected they don't look that great and yeah. if you've got a very expensive bike you might not want it so we've changed those and now with the etch now is visible under ultraviolet so if you shine a UV torch along oh, yeah. there 
you can see the new etch it's only visible under UV it's permanently into the paintwork so it's etched and marked it in the same way that has but again it doesn't distract from the look of the bike gotcha but then we get real James Bond then we get real high tech this is MI5 stuff we have data dots so small dots with micro writing on them that are contained in an ultraviolet glue and on these on this bike this technology is 20 years old so if you look again the UV glue shining up there yeah, on the yeah. top and underneath here on the bottom of the engine UV glue again shining still fluorescing 20 years after it was put on and each one of those dots contains a unique number that will allow a police officer to trace this bike back to me if it was ever stolen and even if the engine was broken for parts and finally inside the seat and in the wiring harness there'll be small radio frequency identity chips that the police can use their scanners to read wow. so fundamentally the bike is unique every part of it is marked in some way yeah so it's a multifaceted approach basically yeah. from the from the billboard i'm protected to do not steal me there right through to the covert jay's bondy stuff absolutely all over the bike absolutely so any criminal who's looking to steal a bike will decide which one he's going to take based on risk and reward what's the risk what's my reward so why increase your risk for the same reward when you can just work 100 yards further down and get a bike that isn't protected absolutely and that's yeah. the way it works yeah so it's like the old um what, what they say about with the bike theft in in london and major cities at the moment they basically said look if, if you can put a cover on your bike if you can put a disc lock on your bike all you're trying to do is, is be a visible deterrent to any would-be thieves and with data tag with these sort of things there they're highly visible and it makes that thief look at it and think tell you what that's going to be more grief than that one that hasn't got anything on it so which one would you go for if you were that type of person you're going to go for the easy option aren't you this is far from easy awesome um right dave uh, you got me convinced so uh, how do you buy it where'd you go okay very simply go on to the data tag web shop you'll see a whole array of systems all the systems that we do choose the one that you want motorcycle scooter or even off-road bike motorsport um, you can pay by credit card you get free delivery takes about 20 minutes to fit it or if you want to buy one and do it and take your bike to pieces and take everything off and mark each part very carefully you can do registration is very simple you go online you register online you put the details of the bike online and you'll instantly get a pdf registration document it couldn't be simpler it's as we said it's permanent passive protection yeah. bruce it's on there permanently it's completely passive and it protects your bike and it's the foundation of all the other security you put on put a lock on your bike put a tracking system on your bike put a cover on your bike but build all of those things on the basis of having data tag dave i believe data tag have very kindly given all the teapot ones uh, followers a discount code is that right that's right yeah so to make it a little bit more attractive for everybody now they've heard all about it and they've given us their time to to uh, understand what data tag is we have set up a discount code teapot 2021 which will get you 20 percent discount when you go to the checkout on the data tag web shop against any of our motorcycle systems awesome hear that folks 20 percent off we all like a bargain make sure you use that code i'll put the, all the details the link and the actual code itself down in the description down below so make sure you take advantage of that all right dave thank you very much for coming along and having a chat i really do appreciate the support from data tag and also for all the info about it fantastic one final thing before we go bruce mm -hmm. one message to everybody out there if you've got a bike and you think you've got data tag on it give us a call the numbers on the website and check and make sure a it's fitted and make sure b that it's correctly registered to your details if you've bought a second hand bike it could still be neither the keeper's details which means they'll get the call when your bike's recovered so give us a call and get that done as quickly as you can all right folks hope you've enjoyed this one it's been really interesting to hear about data tag i hope you've enjoyed it too make sure you're covered make sure you use that discount code all right keep on doing your thing look after those that you love get on out there and live your life Woo -ha! Yeah, um, cheers and if you can make my hair black and... oh definitely yeah yeah yeah, yeah right. everyone always asks oh, can... <laughs> yeah, yeah. big red nose <laughs> clown feet a little flower on there oh yeah <laughs> i'll get an i've met the met sticker and just whack yeah, it on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right let me just double check make sure everything's worked because there's nothing worse than getting home no. and seeing that the footage hasn't recorded i'll do that all again because i totally screwed up the end i only do it in every single video Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. What the hell am I trying to say? I never do this. I, n I never fluff it up like this. It's your fault. <laughs> right. I, think, I think we got that covered. We did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>